The New Testament is the second major part of the Christian biblical canon, the first part being the Old Testament, based on the Hebrew Bible. The Greek New Testament discusses the teachings and person of Jesus, as well as events in first-century Christianity. Christians regard both the Old and New Testaments together as sacred scripture. The New Testament has frequently accompanied the spread of Christianity around the world. It reflects and serves as a source for Christian theology and morality. Both extended readings and phrases directly from the New Testament are also incorporated into the various Christian liturgies. The New Testament has influenced religious, philosophical, and political movements in Christendom, and left an indelible mark on literature, art, and music. The New Testament is an anthology, a collection of Christian works written in the common Greek language of the first century, at different times by various writers, who were early Jewish disciples of Jesus. In almost all Christian traditions today, the New Testament consists of 27 books. The original texts were written in the first and perhaps the second centuries of the Christian era, generally believed to be in Koine Greek, which was the common language of the Eastern Mediterranean from the conquest of Alexander the Great until the evolution of Byzantine Greeks. All the works that eventually became incorporated into the New Testament seem to have been written no later than around 150 AD, and some scholars would date them all to no later than 70 AD or 80 AD. Collections of related texts such as Letters of the Apostle Paul and the Canonical Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John gradually were joined to other collections and single works in different combinations to form various Christian canons of scripture. Over time, some disputed books, such as the Book of Revelation and the Minor Catholic Epistles were introduced into canons in which they were originally absent. Other works earlier held to be scripture, such as 1 Clement, the Shepherd of Hamas, and the Dietes Aaron, were excluded from the New Testament. The Old Testament canon is not completely uniform among all major Christian groups including Roman Catholics, Protestants, the Greek Orthodox Church, the Slavic Orthodox Churches, and the Armenian Orthodox Church. However, the 27-book canon of the New Testament, at least since late antiquity, has been almost universally recognized within Christianity. The New Testament consists of four narratives of the life, teaching, death and resurrection of Jesus, called Gospels. A narrative of the Apostles' ministries in the early church, called the Acts of the Apostles, and probably written by the same writer as the Gospel of Luke, which it continues. 21 letters, often called epistles, from Greek, epistole, written by various authors, and consisting of Christian doctrine, counsel, instruction, and conflict resolution, and an apocalypse, the book of Revelation, which is a book of prophecy, containing some instructions to seven local congregations of Asia Minor, but mostly containing prophetical semiotics, about the end times, between the testaments. The New Testament is a story already in progress when the reader begins at its beginning, Matthew chapter 1 verse 1. Much had taken place during the intertestamental period between the end of what Christians call the Old Testament and the beginning of the New Testament. According to the Bible, the Kingdom of Israel had reached its height under King David a thousand years earlier but was no longer in existence as a political entity. In 587 BC, the southern kingdom of Judah with its capital Jerusalem had been conquered by the Babylonians who destroyed the first temple and forced the Jewish population into exile, known as the Babylonian exile. Fifty years later, Cyrus of Persia permitted the Jews to return and build yet a new temple, the Second Temple, only to have it destroyed by the Romans in 70 AD. Thus, the span of Jewish history from 515 BC to 70 AD is often referred to as the Second Temple period. Within it are four subdivisions, the Persian period. Jewish nation ruled by high priests minimal interference from the Persian king's synagogues became significant sites for teaching and worship. The Torah became the focal point of their religion. 
the Hellenistic period the Holy Land came under Greek control during conquest by Alexander the Great 198-167 BC was a reign of terror during which Jews suffered persecution from Antiochus IV Epiphanes, king of Syria, who sought to exterminate Judaism by force. The Hasmonean period Jewish rebels nicknamed Maccabees led revolt against Antiochus and won independence. Rededication of the Second Temple is the origin of Hanukkah. Two important Jewish sects, Pharisees and Sadducees, emerged. The Roman period Roman general Pompey conquered Jerusalem in 63 BC. Romans appoint Hyrcanus II as ethnic. Romans appoint Antipater the Edomian as the first Roman procurator. Herod the Great appointed as client king of the Jews by the Roman Senate. Roman Judea period includes the time of the ministry of Jesus and the Apostolic Age. Also the story of what happens among Jews who lived in the Holy Land, and what happens to the Roman Empire as a result. Etymology the term New Testament or New Covenant first occurs in Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 31. The same Greek phrase for New Covenant is found elsewhere in the New Testament. In early Bible translations into Latin, the phrase was rendered Fodis Federation in Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 31 and was rendered testamentum in Hebrews chapter 8 verse 8 and other instances from which comes the English term New Testament, modern and English, like Latin, distinguishes testament and covenant as alternative translations, and consequently the treatment of the term delta iota alpha theta eta kappa eta dieth ke varies in English translations of the Bible. John Wycliffe's 1395 version is a translation of the Latin Vulgate and so follows different terms in Jeremiah and Hebrews. Lo, days shall come, saith the Lord, and I shall make a new covenant with the house of Israel, and with the house of Judah. Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 31 For he reproving him, saith, Lo, days come, saith the Lord, when I shall establish a new testament on the house of Israel, and on the house of Judah. Hebrews chapter 8 verse 8 Use of the term New Testament to describe a collection of 1st and 2nd century Christian Greek scriptures, can be traced back to Tertullian. In Against Marcion Book 3, Chapter 14, he writes of the Divine Word, who is doubly edged with the two testaments of the Law and the Gospel and in Book 4, Chapter 6, he writes that it is certain that the whole aim at which he, Marcion, has strenuously labored, even in the drawing up of his antitheses, centers in this, that he may establish a diversity between the Old and the New Testaments, so that his own Christ may be separate from the Creator, as belonging to this rival God, and as alien from the Law and the Prophets. By the 4th century, the existence, even if not the exact contents, of both an Old and New Testament had been established. Lactantius, a Christian author of the 3rd and 4th century, who wrote in Latin, in his early 4th century Divine Institutes, Book 4, Chapter 20, wrote, But all scripture is divided into two testaments, that which preceded the advent and passion of Christ, that is, the law and the prophets, is called the old, but those things which were written after his resurrection are named the New Testament. The Jews make use of the old, we of the new, but yet they are not discordant, for the new is the fulfilling of the old, and in both there is the same testator, even Christ, who, having suffered death for us, made us heirs of his everlasting kingdom, the people of the Jews being deprived and disinherited. As the prophet Jeremiah testifies when he speaks such things, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new testament to the house of Israel and the house of Judah, not according to the testament which I made to their fathers, in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, for they continued not in my testament, and I disregarded them, saith the Lord, Jer 31-31-32. For that which he said above, that he would make a new testament to the house of Judah, shows that the Old Testament which was given by Moses was not perfect, but that which was to be given by Christ would be complete.